This morning's commute turned into a nightmare for drivers after protesters locked arms across a major Boston expressway. Live at 5, we told you how police made several arrests. And new at 5.30, we're learning more about how the demonstration led to a potentially life-threatening situation after an ambulance carrying a car crash victim had to be diverted. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Easton, Massachusetts tonight with the developing details. Kelly, firefighters here in Easton say the protests this morning weren't just an inconvenience for drivers, they were a danger to public safety. Easton Fire Chief Kevin Partridge says because of protesters blocking the highway, an 83-year-old man who needed to get to Boston Medical Center couldn't get there in a reasonable amount of time. The driver had just been in a car accident in Brockton and had serious injuries. Partridge says medics were aware of the traffic backup on 93, so they diverted his ambulance to Good Samaritan Medical Center in Brockton. The chief says while it wasn't a life-threatening situation and the man was able to get medical care, it wasn't the hospital they wanted to send him to. He says he respects people's right to protest as long as it doesn't affect public safety. They have a right to protest, but they can protest in other ways in different locations. They shouldn't do it to shut down the highway. It's illegal. It's wrong. They caused a problem for us and this gentleman that was in the car accident. And I'm sure to, I, I know it affected a lot of other people in the same way, including another ambulance that needed to divert. The chief says the man involved in the car accident this morning ran off the road on Canton Street, possibly due to icy conditions, and hit several trees. They needed the jaws of life to get him out of his vehicle. And at last check, he was at Mass General Hospital where he was transferred, and the chief says he's doing in, in okay condition tonight. Live in Brockton with the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.